This is one of the most common shapes for SAT geometry questions. The technical name is two parallel lines cut by a transversal. For most people, it just looks like the letter Z. This shape is important because the parallel lines create lots of pairs of congruent and supplementary angles. In school, we learn a lot of complicated names for all of the different pairs of angles. The most important one is alternate interior angles, which are represented by the two angles in the corners of the Z shape. These angles are congruent, meaning that they have the exact same angle measure. Once we know that these two angles are the same, we can fill in every other angle on the shape. Because of vertical angles, the angles that are across from each of these alternate interior angles are also congruent. The remaining angles form linear pairs and are supplementary to the angles that we know. In other words, they add up to 180 degrees. To summarize, if we are told that two lines are parallel and a third line crosses those parallel lines, then we form this Z shape with lots of convenient angles. All of the yellow angles are equal to each other. All of the purple angles are equal to each other. And any pair of one yellow and one purple angle is equal to 180 degrees. If you see the shape on a geometry question, odds are good that you will need to set up an equation where two of the angles are equal to each other or where two of the angles add up to 180 degrees. If you're unsure, just fill in as many angles as you can. Eventually, you'll get to where you need to be. Also, this Z shape is sometimes disguised in questions where a few of the lines have been trimmed. Practice noticing the Z shape even when it's not obvious. Usually the biggest giveaway will be that the question tells you that lines are parallel. If it helps, extend the parallel lines and the transversal so that you can see the Z shape more clearly. 